Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart. We got us a new compass box. It's experimental grain whiskey. I have to slow down to say it. Experimental. <laughs> We're going to test it. Post-it notes all over the box, it looks like style. Blended grain Scotch whiskey style. We get a lot of slack, and we just did because we reviewed you just both. Slack. I never heard of both. slack. Slack yeah. means they give you a little room. A little slack. Yeah, get a little, a little slack. Like a lot a little, of flack. Give you a little. We get a lot of flack because we reviewed Compass Box Orchard House. Yes. And we did not say that it was a blended malt whiskey. Right. I we wanna, are so sorry. No, what I want to do is call it we a vatted malt. We are so sorry. Malt. A vatted malt. I want to mess with people from eight years ago. Be like, it's a vatted malt. And I'd be like, what? We what? know there's a difference. <laughs> we just may not state it. You know and what? I say there's only maybe 1% of the population of whiskey drinkers that caveat. know and care about the designation anyway. I'd say 10. 10%. No way. Yeah. It's way, that's way too It's way more than, not one. More than 10%. More than 10 one. 10 of whiskey drinkers <laughs> don't know the difference. I'm going to push it to 11. <laughs> we know there's a difference between a blended malt scotch whiskey. I actually like blended malt. And a blended scotch whiskey. Johnny Walker Green's my favorite. Blended scotch what? whiskey means there's some grains used in it. Right. Blended malt whiskey means it's all 100% malted barley. Just from different, yes, there's a different distilleries. Single malt. Malted we may barley. not just like here. <laughs> we might we might not always say. Yeah. I know I'm a little tongue tied. Yes, you are. You're fired up. We might just say bourbon, and somebody go, "That's straight bourbon." True. Well, we just call it bourbon. Yeah. We could but call it's a straight, straight bourbon. You know there's a difference. There is a difference, yes. Right. So we took some but it's black on on the naming of it. Now, I'd like no. to just say we're not called the the Scotch Smart uh, <laughs> Sorry, so I can't even say it. The Scotch <laughs> Smart, smart Dummies. dummies. <laughs> we're not the Scotch Test Smarties. We'd have to have a smart part. <laughs> yeah. if we did that drive I around. can't even say it. That's how dumb I am. I can't even come up with the so, little turn of phrase. One other commenter said that Compass Box only does blended malt whiskeys, and that is not true. Yeah, no, they're wrong. Yeah, That's they've like actually, a simple one. Hedonism, the first release, is, sure. a, is, a, is a blended Scotch whiskey. It's all grain right and compass box has even done a spirit in which they use blended in a non-scotch whiskey was that? i think that was stranger, stranger and stranger and stranger right yeah. okay because and then stranger and, and stranger there you go and, and i love their double single which is which is malts yeah those two, are malts. just two yeah single malts double double single, single. so we get it we get it, it can be confusing and we are the scotch test Dummies, not we, the Scotch Test Smarties. Now I can get it down. <laughs> All right. So someone's yelling, get to the review already. A lot of talking. Usually this, I'm the so one talker. Th this you pre-poured it. Experimental Grain Whiskey. Now That's look, the name of this. They That's got the post-it notes even on the bottle. Yes. Uh, this is a limited edition. This is not Core Range <laughs> Compass Box. Uh, the name of it is Experimental Grain Whiskey. Yes. Blended Grain Scotch Whiskey. You, you just read the label. Forty-six percent. Now yeah, look that's at this true. though. That's true. You can just read it. Look at this. They've got LL thirty-seven Hado or Hedonism eighteen. I don't know what this is. NB thirty-seven CB fourteen. What is all that? Yeah. All obviously these are notes from tasters, and they look like they're direct copies. All malt grain whiskey, paradoxical. paradoxical. Yeah. Call John on the side. Call John. I sent that one. Clove-like phenols. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. First of all, I wouldn't call him John. All right, let's get to Mr. the whiskey. Glacier. <laughs> but look at they even did these little notes on the yes, back. I love their labeling. Um, hold on, I'm going to look at it. It's 46% ABV. They have a thing called the analyzer and the rectifier. Um, like on the label. Again, they do cool labels. We did pre-pour this. We wanted to let it air a little bit because he just zipped it open. Do you have some coins? I didn't know what you said. I actually misheard oh. that. <laughs> I was like, what is he saying? Do I have some? I thought you said, do you have some points? And I'm like, he wants me to read the ABV? <laughs> no, I already did. <laughs> I, that's why it confused me. I was like, okay. Uh, lemon hay. <laughs> lemon hay. I, normally, I'd say uh, lemon lemon malty, lemon grass, lemon. but it's lemony hay. Lemony straw. Vanilla. It's lemon right after I've mowed the yard. That's yeah. what it is, because it's kind of that cut grass. Yeah. 
you got some coins? I'm like, you want me to read the ABB? That's what I got out of there. <laughs> nice like, color as well. Uh, Gumbus Box does not add color. I'm not even going to look. look at, I'm this sure guy says clove-like phenols. Look at, the, the notes are distracting me. All right. <laughs> uh, Gumbus Box, by the way, real good. You can go to the website, pull up the exact recipe, Ooh. pages, and everything involved here. This does kind of have that clove. Remember that old clove gum? Mm -hmm, it was mm -hmm. they had the blackjack and the clove gum. It kind of reminded me of that on first sip. Of course, it could have been the box or the label. No, there's clove though. Hmm. Wow. I think that's why I phenols. I feel like I'm getting a phenols. Wow. It'll first look. sip. Ooh. I mean, it's, I mean, it's very grassy. Vanillas, milk, chocolate, caramels. I just got a little bit of pine forest. I'm not, I didn't get the, the clove. I, I didn't got, get the clove. I got pine forest at the yeah. end there. Wow. That's like, it's, it's almost like an old spice pine. Like the, like the deodorant. That's weird. No, there's definite pine needle. Huh. I grew up in the, in the forest, in the woods. I grew up in the woods. <laughs> Oranges. There's some oranges oh, at. I want some water in there. I didn't get orange. Light citruses. I got clove. Not light. Gum. Strong citruses. want to drop? I'm used to saying light citruses. Do -do. A lot of lemon. A lot of orange. Maybe a little pear. Nice. <sighs> Nothing different. Softer fruits. Maybe a little tangerine even. Maybe getting a little tropical in there. Milk chocolates. Caramels. Marshmallows grassy hmm. almost a multi feel if not a multi feel jeez <laughs> the water changed a lot um i do get this weird tingle across the tongue could just be the abv coming through but on that one i got like a, like talcum talcum powder why am i getting that talcum hmm and then now I'm not getting, surely the drop of water didn't change that much. I'm not getting any of these finished notes. Um, I do get a little bit. Pine even. I do get a little bit of grain, almost like a young grain. I hate to say that, but I'm getting it. Um, underlying feels younger grain. Thinking of a, of a blend almost, you know, um, black label, red label. Johnny Walker somewhere in there, a little bit of a youthful green in there. Hmm. Well, now I'm not even getting the ginger. Okay. Um, hmm. Again, a little bit of pine forest there with that multi, it's like multi pine cone. <laughs> the weird thing is the forefront, um, and I almost get like um like something baking on the forefront. Let's go with more water. I'm getting more, yeah, the, the clove or a fresh mint now throughout the palate. Took two or three sips to let it get soaking in. It's coming in now, kicking in mid to uh, even into the finish. Hmm. So I expected from the grains a lot of times I'll get that that sweet um spun sugar like a cotton candy unflavored cotton candy flavors i didn't get any of that i'm still getting malted pine tree um and i get like a sour hazelnut on the forefront and it's not nearly as flavorful as i thought it was going to be Hmm. Well, grain whiskeys are going to be lighter. They, I mean, I know, but I usually get a little that sugary. I can usually mm -hmm. pick okay. out True. like a grain whiskey because I'll get those. Like Johnny Walker always gives you those sugary, light, sweet touches, which again are like sponge sugar, which I like. But I'm not getting any of that here. 
So we do have at least four, or maybe all four, if this is the, the complete list on the back here. Loke Lohman Distillery um, was in a sec, the, the whiskey's the recipe in here. Loke Lohman Distillery from a second fill bourbon Must barrel. Be a Hedonism bl blended green whiskey a sec from a second fill bourbon barrel is also in here. North British a Whiskey Company from a recharred barrel, and then the Cameron Bridge Distillery That's from a recharred hogshead. Yep, it, yeah. it had C, CB, CB. CB or, yeah. and NB, mm -hmm. HB. Hmm. I'm going to tell you, I'm not like overly enjoying this. I'm not picking up. Hmm. Okay, there I got a little sweet touch in the finish, almost like a little <laughs> bit of a cream soda. Yeah, I can see that. Like I said, I get, you were talking about that sponge sugar and stuff throughout. I, I get I get sponge sugar. I get powdered sugar. I didn't until that last sip, and the cream soda is kind of in that same vein. Um, this is different. Mm -hmm. I like the color, and Compass Box never adds color in it. They always, uh, uh, they don't chill filters, so that's interesting. Yep, I just saw that on the back. Natu no color added, no chill filtration. They'll James Saxon is the lead whiskey maker. Mm. You need to eat something I before something. we film. I ate. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. We need a post-it note that says... Rumbly in the tumbly. Rumbly. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. How did you do that? <laughs> I was literally going to say rumbly in the tumbly. I don't know if I was going to say tumbly. It was rumble in the tumble. Hmm. Um... No, the, I mean this is good, but keep in mind, I think it's it's a, it's different because it is just grain whiskey. So without the sh the sugary sweetness that usually accompanies that, and I'm getting a little bit. Man, I want that clove back. I actually like that clove, and I don't have it. Um, it, it would it would be neat to look at this side side by side with hedonism. Mm. And it's even been a while since I since we bought mm. or even reviewed yeah. hedonism. He, hedonism. 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 I think it's hedonism. You hedonist. It is. Well, you yeah. Um, in the UK, the pronunciation is hedonism. Oh, so you culture. get. Well, that's because I, we were calling it hedonism hedonist. at first, and then after you know we spoke spoke with John Glazier, and if you yes. watch him, he pronounced it hedonism. Right. So we were pronouncing it hedonism. Then we Copy had several it. comments, commenters say that's the UK <laughs> pronunciation. It's hedonism. you guys aren't UKers. Yeah. Mm. Once again. That's what people do, though. We like to comment. <laughs> comment, baby. Comment on there. People commenting on my stash. Some of them saying they like it. Some of them from the UK uh, referencing somebody that had a curly stash that I don't know. They kept saying a name, and I was like, I don't know who that is, but I'm just give them a thumbs up. If I don't know, I usually say thumbs up, or if you say something cool, I just say boom. <laughs> Hello. I know 89. Wow, you scored quick, but yep. I'm nowhere near 89. Um uh 83 this one's not hit me on any kind of uh, uh it's almost neutral it was almost 82 getting a little bit of the cream soda i like i wonder if it might open up a little bit more um i would not go buy this um it doesn't really hit me on any level of stuff i seek out i like a strong maltiness no from a grain, I like the sweet sponge sugar, almost a smooth coating of the mouth from those grains. No. And I don't even get the clove anymore, which I kind of liked at first because I like that clove gum that used to come out with the blackjack. Hmm. Not a lot, but enough to try it now and then. $140. Mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, what? Yeah, no. I mean, I mean, the, the com wow. Compass Box fanboys are gonna—they're gonna pick it up. Sure, but some I mean, people, uh, you know, no, it's experimental grain whiskey. London grain Scotch whiskey limited edition. They show some column stills on the front. They Coffee talk about still. it. Yeah, and there we go again. Coffee still. Um, no, no. Mm -mm. This doesn't do anything for me. Sorry. All right. Do Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up some merchandise, help support the show. We got coins, glasses, shirts, hats, dropper sets. And we need some folks to come on Patreon so we can shout your name or say your name. You can do a little as a dollar a month. 
Go to Patreon, look up Scotch Test Dummies. You'll see us on there. There's some other folks, and you'll get your name in, in, a, in a closing credits. Help Mark buy some food. Yeah, need I need Rumbly food to get, uh, handle that and shut her down, baby. Shut her down, because we're the Scotch Test Smarties. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Blanche. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>